Come on. Fly. Break, 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 break. <laughs> Can break that one? Yeah. Whoa, look at that. Avid. Whoa. I hope you all enjoyed that. Lovely fence. Let's be a little bit careful. £2,000 excess for this bloody... Aid from witchbike.com here. Look at that. Looky, looky. Is it a fire blade? No, it's a mini fire blade. Uh, KTM's got his scalpel. Honda got the blade. This is more of a pocket knife, perhaps a pen knife. It does quite a lot of bits, but not super sharp. It looks incredible. Um, the reason why I think this looks better than usual could be that it's got a few options. That being the smoky glass, it's only like 50 quid, so that's a no-brainer, especially in the black. It's also got the solo seat cowl, which really looks good. Very nicely sculpted into the back end. This also, you can probably tell, those who are keen by the little rod there, this has got the upshifter, the quick shifter, only on the up, not on the down Volto blipper. However, it does have a clutch assist, so you can go down quite aggressively down the gears, even just using your foot and not the clutch, and you're not going to get a lock up on the rear end. Look, look, see, I told you, I'm learning. I actually start to learn about these things. Yeah. Um, we also got LCD screen. Um, so that's pretty cool. Let's look at the wishy wishy woogie. It's exactly the same. Now the one I took out on the CB500X. Apart from, it's got traction control. That's the other thing it's got. Um, not massively light, not massively heavy. Around about 200 wet. So it's not too shabby. It puts out 70 kilowatts, so for you and me and everybody else, don't know what he's in that bloody kilowatt thing. It's around about 100 horses. Now, when I first saw this bike come out, I thought, wow, it's a competitor to the R6. Yeah! Um, I took the R6 out. Awesome bit of kit. You're looking at 12 grand before you start putting on loads of bits. So it's quite expensive. This comes at 7,800. So, and even with the quick shift, uh, the solo seat count on the screen, it's still only about 8.3. So that's pretty damn good. That's a lot cheaper. And the truth of the matter is, this isn't really a competitor to the R6. I mean, it is, in some respects, and that it looks pretty similar. It looks damn cool. But um, when it comes down to that final 10%, this isn't really a competitor. Now, of course, not everybody's going to be in that 10%. So this bike does make sense. And that 7.8 stock, it's a pretty good deal, isn't it? Oh, I think so. So, uh, 810 millimetre seat. So as I swing over it, it's easy. First thing I notice, the seat is hard. <laughs> but uh, it would be on a sports bike. My feet are down fully flat. The slight flex in the knee, which is lovely. It's good looking down. Not too much mess. I quite like it, this black's colour. But so you've got the two reds, one of the blue on it and one of the white on it. The real looking mini fire blade-esque livery. Um, which does look really good. And you'd be tempted to have that if you really want people to believe you've got a fire blade. This black looks quite menacing and goes well with the smoky screen. Uh, like the 500 X I took out, excellent wing mirrors, probably the best visibility I've seen in wing mirrors on a sports bike. Let's turn it on. Okay, not a roar, not a great roar, but it does get uh, a lot louder after about 7,000 revs when it comes alive. A bit like its big brother, actually. Let's go. It's got very low clutch point, so the clutch point comes in, the bike comes in early and goes for quite a distance. So that's uh, actually really good for new beginner riders. Okay, so other thing I can tell you is the, um, the throttle is instant like that. Okay, fair enough, I'm going along your first gear. Um, no, I actually prefer that, funny enough. I'd rather it was like that than rather have an inch of travel. You don't quite know what you're dealing with. But this one, it is simply on or off. Fair enough. The clutch is a bit far away, so I'll probably get adjustable handles on that. The brake actually seems all right, and it is adjustable anyway. Um, yeah, I mean, now I'm sitting on it. My thighs aren't pitched, my knees are up, and it seems pretty comfy, to be honest. Not too bad. There's minimal padding in that seat, but not too shabby. Right, here it goes. And off! Too shabby. 
can't get expensive. Have a, let's be a little bit careful. £2,000 excess on this bloody thing. <laughs> it's a little bit scary, isn't it? I'm not used to buy it either, but actually, unsurprisingly, it's, uh, it turns very, very nicely in there. This way, I'll still catch up with his cars. That's a big gap. Oh. A bit wide, no defend. There we go. Okay. Taking this one, about a third. A little bit above there, it's a bit wide. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. And brake, and down the gear, no drama at the back. Back and lean, and he's in. He's through. I've got to talk to him. Oh, I'm a nut. Oh. <laughs> On my right nut, just got a little bit of a bash in there. <laughs> There's a little bit of a bump. Oh, shit, wouldn't expect that. I'm right on the tank, right on the tank at the moment. I'll sit back a bit. There we go. Oh, it turns on that one, aren't you? Right, do it in reverse now. It was parallel. So far, full throttle and lean, brake off camber and lean, separation. Oh, bugger, car right on the bend. That's a real shame. Fantastic bends, aren't they? I love them, I love them, I love them. Don't overtake here. Well, I can overtake over to see them. We've had a bit of fun. I mean, it is dead easy. Shouldn't overtake here, but uh, I know this road very well. Very well indeed. Try to collect the gears. Ridden it for a few. Oh, yeah. Tell you what, it feels a bit bumpy. It feels bumpy on this, then there's another bike to take in here. Suspension's <laughs> maybe firm on the fault, we'll take it back. Break, 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 break. <laughs> Can I make that one? Yeah, whoa, look at that. Have it. Whoa. I think you enjoyed that. <laughs> now, I can tell you there's nothing, this, uh, nothing wrong with this bike whatsoever. It does everything really well. It hasn't got that super massive acceleration. It hasn't got that turn. This is a really horrible tight bend this one. Try to end up straight in the canal. Sorry, it hasn't got that uh, brutal acceleration, it hasn't got any kind of acceleration anywhere in the rev band actually. Which makes it really smooth, probably perfect for track day beginners. Um, but it's got very good brakes, extremely good balance, brilliant to turn. Uh, the feel, brakes, clutch, up shifting, everything is spot on. I think all I'd get with this is a uh, extra market can. 
starts to liven up the fruit. It doesn't sound bad, but it doesn't sound good, you know what I mean? Really enjoyed it. Now I've just been on it. Actually, now I start to feel really alive on the bike. I think doing those uh, bends connects you with the bike a lot quicker than any other way. Well, healthy days, eh? Enjoyed that. What a good bike for around eight thousand pounds. You'll get a bike that looks the nuts, goes well, eminently suitable for a new rider who doesn't want the expense or the extra danger that comes with a one litre bike. And I think that's where this fits in very nicely. So no, might not be a competitor to R6, but in its own little price point, looking this good, to me this looks like a bargain. Right, I'll leave it there. This is Aid signing out. Ride safe, take care, out there.